On November 19, 2024, Admiral Samuel Paparo, commander of U.S. forces in the Indo-Pacific, offered a measured assessment of North Korea's missile capabilities, emphasizing that while recent tests show the regime's ability to reach the U.S. mainland, there are still significant uncertainties regarding the effectiveness of its intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. Speaking at the Brookings Institution in Washington, Paparo explained that North Korea's tests of ICBMs, including the newly developed Wasong-19, have not yet demonstrated the ability to deliver a nuclear warhead successfully. The Wasong-19, North Korea's largest ICBM, was tested in October 2024 and reached a record altitude of 7,000 kilometers during its 87-minute flight. This missile, according to Paparo, has the potential to target the entire continental United States. However, the critical question remains whether the regime can safely pair a nuclear warhead with an ICBM that can endure the stresses of launch, flight, and atmospheric re-entry. Despite continued testing, Paparo noted that such a capability has yet to be observed, underscoring the challenges North Korea still faces in developing a fully operational long-range nuclear missile. North Korea's missile program under Kim Jong-un has evolved rapidly, with the regime adopting an increasingly aggressive posture towards South Korea and aligning itself with Russia particularly in the context of the ongoing war in Ukraine. In the aftermath of the Wasong-19 test, state media referred to the missile as the ultimate version of an ICBM, indicating North Korea's intentions to enhance its strategic capabilities. Paparo's cautious remarks align with earlier assessments by U.S. officials. In 2022, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan expressed doubts about North Korea's ability to successfully launch an ICBM with a nuclear payload and accurately strike a target on the U.S. mainland. Despite these uncertainties, North Korea's missile advancements pose broader security concerns. The country has amassed a substantial arsenal of artillery and rockets along its border with South Korea, where nearly 30,000 U.S. troops are stationed. Additionally, North Korea's ability to launch missiles over Japan has raised alarm bells for U.S. allies in the region. Kim Jong-un remains resolute in his pledge to enhance North Korea's nuclear capabilities, citing the need to counter what he perceives as threats from the U.S.-led security alliances in the region. North Korean state media recently accused the U.S., Japan, and South Korea of destabilizing the Korean peninsula, labeling their alliance an Asian version of NATO and warning that these nations would be responsible for any conflict that may arise. North Korea's missile development dates back to 2017, when it first tested the Wasong-14 ICBM, followed by the Wasong-15 later that year. These missiles demonstrated the potential to strike the U.S. mainland, with estimated ranges of up to 13,000 kilometers. While the Wasong-19 shows significant progress, analysts have raised concerns about its practicality in a real-world conflict, as its large size may limit its mobility and make it more susceptible to preemptive strikes. As North Korea continues to develop its missile and nuclear programs, questions remain about its ability to integrate nuclear warheads into its ICBMs in a way that ensures their survival through the demanding phases of launch and re-entry. U.S. officials have emphasized that although progress is evident, a full demonstration of these capabilities is still pending. North Korea's advancements, while notable, highlight the challenges and uncertainties that persist in the regime's quest for a credible nuclear deterrent. Thank you.